Good day Grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson in probability. Now we've learned about Venn diagrams and how to use them to help us work out um, how, what probability is. Now we're going to learn about the tool which is called tree diagrams. Now tree diagrams are very useful in organizing and visualizing the different possible outcomes of a sequence of events. So events that happen one after the other. For each possible outcome of an event we draw a line and next week we write the probability. So let's look at an example. It says a bag contains five red balls and three blue balls and we have a second bag which contains six blue balls and four red balls. Balls. So if a ball is selected from one of the bags, what is the probability that the ball will be blue? So do you understand the first thing that we need to do is select a bag? We have to select a bag. So let's make that in black. So we either have to choose bag one, right? Or we have to choose bag two. But since there are two bags, we've got a 50-50 chance of pulling one of these bags or choosing one of these bags. So therefore the probability of choosing bag one is a half and the probability of choosing bag two is also a half. Now at this point we can choose either a red ball, okay, on both of these branches or we can choose a blue ball. Okay, so let's look at the first bag. Let's say we chose the first bag. Then if we see that we've got five plus three balls. So the probability of me pulling out a blue ball is going to be three out of eight because five plus three is eight. So we're going to, the probability of me pulling out a blue ball is three out of eight. The probability of me pulling out a red ball is going to be there for 5 out of your 8. Now if we look at the second bag, it contains 6 blue balls and 4 red balls. So if we've got how many balls in total? We've got 10 balls in total. It says 6 blue balls and 4 red. So therefore we've got a probability of pulling out 4 out of 10 red balls, which is the same as 2 fifths. Or we have the probability of pulling out, pulling out how many? 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10, which is 3 fifths. Now, what you need to understand is there are two ways that we can pull out a blue ball. We can either go this way or we can go this way. So to find the probability of getting a blue ball, we need to include both these options. So we have to follow the branches. So let me get another color out. So the probability of me pulling out a blue ball if we go this way is going to be 1 half times by 3 eighths plus the probability of me pulling out the blue ball going this way would be 1 half times by 3 fifths. So therefore the probability of me pulling out, this is branch 1 and this is branch 2 which then gives you 3 over 16 plus 3 over 10 which is 39 over 80 which is 0.49 which means we've got approximately 49% chance of pulling out a blue ball. Okay, let's do another example just to get to grips with this. Okay, so it says the prob probability that it will be sunny tomorrow is one third. If it is sunny, the probability that Jenny plays tennis is four fifths. If it is not sunny, the probability that Jenny plays tennis is two fifths. Find the probability that Jenny plays tennis. Okay, so let's choose a color. Okay, so first of all, we've got the options of sunny, actually I drew that too high, let me just erase that. Okay, try again. We've got sunny versus not sunny, right? Now the probability that it will be sunny is one third, therefore the probability that it will be not sunny is therefore two thirds, right? Then we've got the probability that she plays tennis. Now if it is sunny, the probability that she'll play tennis is four fifths. So if it's sunny, she almost definitely is going to go play tennis. And that is four fifths. If it is not sunny, the probability that Jenny plays tennis is two fifths. So if it's not sunny, she will play tennis if it's if it's only two fifths probability. Whereas if it 
and just let's finish this off to make it neat. Therefore, the fact that she won't play tennis, so let's say no tennis, is going to be one fifth. And no tennis over here, no tennis, is going to be three fifths. Right, now again, it asks to find the probability that Jenny plays tennis. So we've got two ways that we can get to her playing tennis. And I'm going to choose purple. So we can either go for the sunny and then she plays tennis, or we can go not sunny and then she plays tennis. So the probability that she plays tennis is going to be what? One third times by four fifths plus two thirds times by two fifths. Okay, so that becomes four over 15 plus four over 15, which happens to be eight over 15. Therefore, eight divided by 15 is 0 0.53 equals 0.53 which is approximately 53%. So there's a 53% chance that Jenny is going to play tennis tomorrow. Right, so I hope you understand how to use your tree diagrams now. Please practice and then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.